Hello and welcome to my pool video. I've never done a pool video before. Um, the reason I've never done a pool video before is because we already have so many great pool videos. Uh, there's some excellent China Key YouTubers who record their pools and post them. And then over on the official Shining Nikki um, Discord server, the mods stream their pools during hell events. So I've never done a pool video because as a community, we're already spoiled for choice. But huh, with Krista, I thought here is a perfect opportunity to showcase the difference in cost between playing for collection and playing for arena as a paying player um, and so i decided to go ahead and do a pool video because then we can see how many pools it takes for me to complete collection and then how many more pools are needed on top of that to max the call of reflection to play in arena competitively I know I'm going over a lot of things. If you're a new player, maybe that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to explain all of that. And just so you know, as a paying player, playing for collection is a fraction of the cost as paying playing for arena. Arena is very, very expensive. And the big question, of course, is, is it worth it? And that's really up to each person I've played arena. I can tell you, I will never play another arena game ever. So, cause I don't think it was worth the money. Do I regret doing it? Mm, I learned a lot. I was able to talk to you guys, um, but I won't do it again. Uh, it, they're working on Nikki five right now. Of course, I don't know. Oh my God, Nikki five's coming out. No, no, no Nikki five won't be come out for several years, but they are working on it. Um, if Nikki five has an arena, <laughs> I will not be playing in it. This is the one and only time I will ever play arena on a mobile game because it is so expensive. And I don't think that what you, for me personally, I should say, I shouldn't speak for other people. For me personally, it wasn't worth the money. It was too expensive for what you got out of it. Whereas I love playing with the clothes. To me, that is worth the money. And also it's a fraction of the cost. Arena is so expensive, it's insane. That's what we're gonna talk with, what we're gonna showcase today. But before we go any farther, the first thing I wanna do is explain what I'm talking about. Playing for collection, playing for arena. Now when you play for arena, you're also playing for collection. Arena is on top of collection. So if you're playing for arena, you also have 100% collection. But let's start with collection. So over on the right hand side, we have index. I'm gonna press, um, I'm gonna click on the index button. And then here is our collection. So uh, for clothes, it's collecting all the clothes and the recolors, getting one echo so you can get the recolor. Um, and then also there's individual items of clothing that are not necessarily within a set. So there's these, you know, it's, it's just all the clothing. Now, if you want to go for other collection, there's the reflections, there's the nail art, concepts, decors, but you might just be going for just the clothing. Um, if you want a hundred percent collection rate with the clothing, you will have to be a paying player. Now, I think as a free to, I think the game is very free to play friendly and because of that, you can get a very high collection rate as free to play. But if you want 100%, you absolutely have to be a paying player. Um, so that is playing for collection. Now playing for arena, let's get out of here. And on the go down to the bottom, start journey. And there in the middle is diamond arena. And then we're going to click the ranking button in the top right hand corner. And you see pie at the top there and then i'm number two now playing for arena competitive competitively in arena is much much more expensive because you have to max out your reflections so um to show you what i'm talking about i'm going to hit my dress up button here and there at, in the top left hand corner where it says styling power and there's an exclamation point next to the word styling power. 
going to click on the exclamation point and it shows you the breakdown of your um, your score and as you see the designer's reflection is very important as part of your score total and in this case I'm using Hestia now I have Hestia pretty much maxed except for her passives we're gonna go look at that in a second we probably won't look at Hestia she's a fresh actually yeah let's do that let's look at the so um, dress up again we want to look at we're doing everything let's keep everything within the blue cool reflection because that's what Krista is so theme two Theme two is our cool this time. So as you see in the bottom left, I've got looming. Um, and I'm going to click the exclamation point next to styling power. And there you can see the breakdown of the score and how important the designer's reflection is. Now, the more you max out that reflection, the higher, you know, the more powerful that designer's reflection is. So now we're going to go to the arc. So we can take a look at looming. And I realized I don't use the other reflections, so I don't know them as well. I maxed looming, and then I was like, I'm done. Okay, so on the right-hand side, I'm clicking on arc. Now we're going to go into the just the middle there. I'm going to click on that. We're going to. I'm over here. These are all tabs. That's all. I'm going to be over on the far right tab, which is the blue cool tab, because that's what Christ, Christine. <laughs> Krista was her name on the Tommy News server. Everybody's called her Krista for years, but they have renamed her Christine. I'll try to remember to call her Christine. So Christine is a blue cool UR reflection. So let's look at my looming. Looming I pulled to max. So there are four tabs there on the bottom, upgrade, rank up, pass effect, and call of reflection. I'm going to go to the fourth tab, call of reflection. And you see that my looming is maxed. To max my looming, I had to pull 12 echoes from the path. So I had to keep pulling until I had pulled 12 echoes. That's why it's so expensive. Um, and if we, the other really important thing is passive effect. I'm gonna click on the passive effect. As you see, I don't actually have him fully upgraded on passive effect. And the reason I don't do that is to upgrade him, I need these outfit crystals. And these are very, very difficult to come by. And the very last, going from level four to level five on your passive effect, as you can see there, cost 10 outfit crystals. So it's very expensive. And so I don't take it up to level five unless I have to. I kind of keep those. For example, I will be getting Krista today, and then I will be bringing her up to either four or five. I haven't decided, maybe four, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so I haven't brought him all the way up to five. Now it helps that I'm on server one, which is a lot less competitive than server two. On server two, you need to bring these all up to five if you want to be at the top or near the top. Um, but I just have mine at four, but I'm on server one, which is less competitive. All right, so that's Looming, who I use as I maxed him, and he is my um, cool UR that I use for Arena. Now. When these ones came out, when this UR came out, and Dustless Feathers. Oh, what is Dustless Feathers? Oh, this is the one that we just had. So you can tell it. Look, I'll go to Color Reflection over on the right. Yeah, see nothing, nothing there. <laughs> it's because I don't use him. <laughs> I had Looming, and there wasn't enough of a, any kind of power creep for me to, see, let's go over here for me to upgrade these. I just stuck with looming. Now I say power creep. The reason there's power creep, of course they're gonna, uh, they being paper games, of course paper games is gonna put in power creep because they want people to keep pulling for reflections because it costs a lot of money. And so um, we do see power creep. So looming was the most powerful. Actually, I don't know if Dustless, they were comparable enough that I didn't even bother looking them up or, or seeing if I should I didn't even bother, you know, Looming was my person. And because if you, let me do another example. Where is it? Here we go. This is a great example. Why is it? Is that the right one? Is this the one from the wedding, right? This is wedding. It was the wedding one. I didn't do my, I didn't upgrade the wedding one because I was like, oh, here, we'll do this one. Oh, well, that's Hestia. That's not a very good example. Yeah, I think that was the wedding one, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, technically, technically, Chinyi Crimson Phoenix is more powerful than Loan Glittering Date. Now let's go to my Call of Reflection. He's also maxed. 
um, my passive effects are all up for I didn't even take him all the way up to four on all of them because he's actually weak ish compared to the URs um, now w the reason I didn't pull for Chen Yi if you go to call reflection there's just nothing the only reason he's up to two is because I happen to have that when I was pulling just for collection for to get all the pieces and the recolor I happened to get two echoes so I used one echo to awaken him and get the recolor and I had that other w echo hanging around so I brought him up to level two but I didn't pull for it it just happened to show up as I was pulling for a collection um so the reason I didn't pull for echoes even though he's technically stronger than Loan, is because they were comparable and if I had pulled for max echoes for Chen Yi Crimson Phoenix which I'm almost sure this is the wedding event right this is the wedding event um if I had pulled for Max Echoes, one, one, that would have been very expensive, and two, I would then have to also bring up his passive effects. Now to upgrade passive fix effects, I'm going to click on the upgrade button. There's my outfit crystals. I would burn through these outfit crystals, bringing up all his passive effects. So considering that they were fairly comparable, that he just wasn't OP enough over Lowen for me to spend the money both pulling for his echoes out of the path and then spending my out my UR outfit crystals um, bringing up his passive effects especially since I'm on server one and it's not nearly as competitive so I just pulled for collection on Chin Yi Crimson Phoenix um, and I I did not and I just I keep on using glow and glittering date and he's just gonna be my man for a little while I already I already have my plan on who, who I'd spend the money on for max x not only getting the echoes out of the pav which is expensive but also spending the ur outfit crystals to level the passive effects all right so let's go back see there's so much to arena right so much anyways so it's the same with here i didn't even bother with leonid and um leonid dustless feathers and chin yi moonset because i have my looming cloud benediction and i didn't want to spend the money on the pulling for the echoes and also using my UR crystals to bring up the passive effects um, when they were comparable enough that it wouldn't make a difference in arena because it's very expensive. So Looming Cloud Benediction was my boy for a long time. Now, Krista <laughs> is significantly more powerful than Looming Cloud Benediction. So she, I'm going to go ahead and pull for her to max COR, max call of reflection. And so if we go look at, because she's already showing up in Arena. So let's go back to Arena. Here we are back in Arena. And I've already fallen to rank two. As you see, I was rank one at the beginning of the day <laughs> before people started pulling. Um, Pi is rank one now. And Misery LM could easily, as you can see looking at, this, at the scores, move up in front of me and be ranked two. So this is all because we have blue in our arena this week and people are pulling for Krista, or Christine, and putting her in play. So um, if I want to remain competitive in arena, I have to pull for Christine because Christine is OP compared to looming and that's because of power creep. And we will continue to see power creep because that's very important for the in the revenue stream of paper games. They want the whales to continue pulling for echoes to be competitive in arena. So, and, and you're like, well, if you don't like arena, why are you doing this? Well, I've already got the diamonds. <laughs> I've been collecting those diamonds there. You see at the top, 216,000, which is, I know, an insane amount. It's because I've been collecting them for a year. Um, we didn't, in case we got a, we got a double UR, an important double UR like Emperor and Empress. Um, so I could pull for Max Echo. Would I continue doing this? I don't know. 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 I can tell you that in future games, I will not be playing Arena. I've already got the 216,000 diamonds. Like I've already put the money in and it's already sitting there. So I may as well play for Arena. I've got the, I've already put the time, the money in, you know, to collect the diamonds over time. Like I said, it was in case a double UR showed up. That's why there's so much like for Emperor Empress or uh, Fire and Water, that sort of thing. All right, so how far are we into this? I'm going to have to splice this together, put this in two different videos or something. Um, we're at 15 minutes. So that is the difference between 
playing for collection and playing for arena. If you play for collection, and if you play for arena, of course you'll get 100% collection because you're, you're playing, it's on top of that, it costs more than that. If you're playing for arena, um, you will have to pull 12. If you're playing for collection, you need to pull one echo for your recolor to awaken your, your reflection and get the recolor of the outfit. If you're pulling for arena, you have to pull 12 echoes to max echo your um, your reflection. Now, uh, not everybody does this. A lot of people are like, I'm capping myself at this much and however many echoes I get, that's how many echoes I get. I'm not going beyond that. But they're still playing for arena um, because you don't have to, if you cap yourself at a higher, um, a higher dollar point, a higher cash point, then you would need just to pull for collection, you're, pl you're pulling for arena. Now you're also like, well, this will also be used in the gameplay. You use reflections in the gameplay. No, 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 you can go through all of the gameplay. Um, you know, the main stages, the challenge stages, mind maze, and even right now we still have, uh, what's it called? It's over in team, but it's not gonna be around much longer. Pinnacle battles, pinnacle battles, all of that, you don't have to have these super OP UR reflections to get S ratings on all of those stages. You, this is just, this is only for arena. Um, you can say it's also perhaps for memory stairway there around the bottom, but it's for arena and memory stairway, mainly arena, nothing else. So let's move on to, I'm looking at my notes, echoes, power creep. All right, so I guess we're gonna move on to pools. I might go ahead and stop this here and splice the two together. Uh, so let me stop this here and then the next, and then I'll splice them together and we'll get into pulling. All right, so we're about to pull. I'm a little nervous because I can't redo this part if I mess this up. We just have to, I have to roll with it. So, all right, let's go into the event. Uh, oh, nope, it's not an event. It's got its own tab. Fallen Kingdom there. So I have already spent $200, 200 USD, so you, United States dollars, buying tickets. So just to try to keep track of how much we're spending. After I've burned through those tickets, and <laughs> it will go fast, after I've burned through those tickets, we will move on to using all the diamonds that I have over the last year accumulated. All right, I have been playing since day one. I did miss three weeks though. Um, I'm on day, play day 360. If I had not missed those three weeks, I'd already been, but anyways, it's, it's only missed three weeks in the past year. All right, so let's go to obtain the crown. And you can see that I've already bought tickets, plus we have the free tickets that were given to us um, for our anniversary. And then finally, um, the top of the top of event gave me some tickets as well. Since I spent $200, I got the all the top up tiers. All right, I'm a little nervous. So this is recording, right? It is. All right, let's do it. Let's pull. So the first thing I'm gonna keep track, the first thing we're pulling for is just collection. Let's do skip. Well, that didn't work. I hate skipping. Ugh, I might not do skip again because I like to take the time and look at everything. Okay, that's right. So we have an SSR and a UR. Hang on, I gotta write this down. So we just did 10 pulls. Not paying attention. Okay, those are those are individual SSRs dropping out of the pad. We'll take a look at what I'm talking about in just a second. That's part of, and there's an individual SSR. So if you're doing 100% completion, well, we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's get out of here for just a second. Oh, and there, oh, I forgot about these ones. Um, I'll just put that aside. Okay, so I'm going to go in the top right hand corner. It says all items. So besides the sets, so here's our UR set, Christine, there's the other Christine SSR set, and then here's individual items that drop. Now, if you're going for 100% completion and you want these individual items, especially when you're doing an SSR, you're going to have to, even after you've pulled the set and you've pulled an echo for the recolor, you're going to have to keep pulling if you want to pull to completion, like all of the little individual drops. So that, it costs more to 
get the individual items than just getting the set. Like I said, if you're going to pull to completion the entire path. So we'll come back to that. Right now, let's just pull to completion. We want the UR, the SSR, and one echo for each for recolor. All right, let's do our next summon. Oh, let me write it down. We're on 20 now. Oh, I think I got a, it's taken a while, which usually means I've got an echo. Or it didn't take my, oh yeah, there it is. There's the echo. Yeah, I can always tell when I get the first I get the first time I get an echo because it takes a while. And it's the SSR echo, so it's going to be the SSR set. So let's go ahead and look at that first. It's so pretty, isn't it? Although it's such a sad story. They made her cry all the time because her tears were money. Let's open up that gold. Okay, so there's our first. All right. Yeah, we're going to get through the SS SSR pretty quickly. We've already got one. Oh, let me write that down too. So for the SSR, we have one echo. We need two. We need, we need the, oh, excuse me, the reflection and one echo. So we got the reflection. We still need an echo. Yeah, these are all the, indi those are all the individual um, pieces that fall out of the, that fall out of the, um, the path. Okay, so this is 30 pulls. Oh, there's another echo. Okay, we're done with her as far as echoes go. Because I have no intention of max echoing her. I just needed one reflection and one echo for the recolor. So we're all set on her. It's pretty hair, isn't it? Okay, we still need four more pieces of the suit. This is more individual items dropping out. Okay. Oops, summon rewards. Oops, let's grab those because those are going to be more tickets. All right. Let's see how many more S SR ones we have. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, quite a few. Okay. Oh, there's another gold. Oh, and there's another echo for the SSR. Oh, that was just a single drop. Okay, wait, wait, crap, I haven't been writing down. Was that 40 or 50? I'm on 40 or 50. Oh my God, see, I'm so bad about writing down. I don't know if I'm at 40 or 50. <laughs> I don't remember if I wrote down the last one. Okay, all right. Then we'll say it was 40. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Little fox uh, choker. Oh, those are so pretty. I know a lot of people are wanting the makeup, the, particularly the eyes, and I see why. All right, so write it down. 50, we're at 50, it might be at 60, but let's just stick with 50. Open up the... I'm not too keen on the hair. It's all right. Not, I'm not so sure about those things coming around down the front. Up oh, some more single. I think that dress is beautiful. I don't know how easy it would be to wear if you actually had a dress like that with crystals all over it. There's some individual dropping items. Write this down. 60. Okay, we have another. Oh, we have a couple gold. Oh, 
<laughs> the little crown. Why do they always put the crown off to the side? Have you noticed that? Like, why don't they put the crown, like, going straight up and down? I say it always. I mean, the, the free you are that came with the, you know, the end of volume one hell. Angel devil. Uh, that crown. Oh, well, we're done with SSR, including the echo. So she, the SSR is done. At 60 or 70. We'll say 60. We'll just say 60. Hopefully uh, it's 60 pulls. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to put 10 in there. 70 pulls. 60 pulls? Damn, that's lucky. Uh, no, we're not going to do that right now. Okay. Got the poses and a little hat. Okay. So we're just, we're just going to say 70 pulls. I can't believe I would have got the SSR and its echo. Two echoes, in fact, and just 70 pulls. All right, so um, let's keep going. We're going, we haven't finished collection yet. We're still just pulling for collection at this point. And we've spent $200. Let's see if we can get full collection in under 200. Okay, let's see how many SSRs and SRs are left or if I can skip this part because that was nothing new there. Okay, so how many SSRs are left? Okay, we've got one two there's still three four of those how many individual ssrs ah oh, there's no individual ssrs to drop okay there are individual srs to drop them what was that it was 80 right so that was 80 here's 90. Okay, so we don't have to bother with the SR SSRs anymore because... <laughs> we don't have anything on the top of the head, though, which is cool. But that's so 80s, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I just for just uh, watched a tiny bit of... What's the name of it? It has Nicolas Cage, like a super young Nicolas Cage. Valley Girl. Like, I watched like the first 15 minutes of Valley Girl. Just because we had just watched Stranger Things. And I was like, okay, Valley Girl's actually in the 80s. It was made in the 80s. Let's go see some... 80s outfits and some 80s hair and anyways it's so bad i could not finish it but anyways that those glasses are very 80s okay we'll skip the ssrs because we finished those ones all righty 100 pools We don't have to, we're not going to bother with that. Those are 80s as well, kind of. The 80s had such, because that's another thing I noticed when I was watching Valley Girl, is there was lots of plastic jewelry. And it was a whole, he's from the wrong side of the track. She's a rich girl. He's a poor guy. You know what I mean? They don't get along. So anyways, but she was supposed to be from the rich side of town. And they had so much plastic jewelry. You don't really think of plastic jewelry. Bangles and earrings and stuff. made out of super cheap materials but that was the 80s all right so that was 100 right so this is 110 let's keep going oh we got a gold <laughs> those are very impractical shoes can you imagine trying to walk in those could you imagine like you would have to practice you <laughs> You would, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust like the stiletto. I would like be on like basically on my tiptoes all the time, like making sure I was just on that, that front part. There's been no duplicate URs that have felt fallen for, um, for the very important UR concept crystals. Okay. We're 120. This is not very scientific, is it? But it still will accurately, I think, there's the little crooked crown with the giant crystal. Um, I still think even being unscientific and maybe messing up here and there, I think it would still accurately showcase the difference between collection and arena, which is what we're trying to do. Okay, skip. There's still some SRs left, right? Some single SRs? I'm not. Oh, look at that. 
I love those. Those are just fun. The profile, like uh, little things go around the profile frames, profile frame. Yeah, let's see. I think I still, I definitely had SRs left. Or do we, no, there's one there. One. Okay, there's only one SR left. Yeah, there's only one SR left. Okay, 130. Oh, I got a, it's taking a long time. That means I got another, I got the second, I got the UR reflection. There it is. Yeah, there's the UR reflection. Let's write this down so I don't forget. So we've got, we got the first reflection. I need, I wonder, it says 12 echoes. That is, that's one reflection in 12 echoes, right? Yeah. So in total, I'll need 13. I'll need the first reflection, which we just got, just dropped. And um, here it is right here. Okay, and on top of this reflection, I will need 12 echoes. So let's write that down. Okay. All right, so we have one SR left. Try to find that last SR. There it is. There's the last SR. So we can skip the SRs and the SSRs now because um, all we have left is the yours. Here's 140. Okay, so let's just open up the golds. Okay, so how far are we in? We still have four more items. And we've got the, we've got one we've got the echo. Excuse me, we have the reflection. We don't have an echo yet. 150. Okay, let's just skip all these. We know we have that. Okay, so three more items. 160. Open these guys. Okay, two more items. But that's still not collection. Oh, is wait. No, that's the SSR echo. Not a we haven't got a UR echo yet, right? A hundred and seventy. I'm gonna skip all this. Painful, right? Just painful. 180. Okay, we got it. Wow, those are so pretty. But someone told me that you can't see them in the, the wings very well in the in the game, which is kind of sad. One more item left to do. We still need an echo. Oh, so we've used up what, like a hundred and what did we start at? Like a hundred and eighty pulls or something like that. All right, so that was a hundred and okay, this is a hundred and ninety. Okay, that's a single UR item. Is that skip? Let's see how many single UR items are left. One, two, three. So there's still three single UR items left. Okay, here's pull number 200. There's our last item, but we don't have an echo yet for recolor. Also, there are two UR items, but I wanted to do an uh, example of pulling for... Um, just the outfit and its recolor. So if you're just pulling for its outfit, we're at 200 pulls. 200, but would you do not have the UR recolor. And, um, no, we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, and what else was I thinking of? Um, this is also, it depends on your RNG. So this is just my RNG. It's gonna be a little bit different for each person. We're at 100, oh, excuse me, 210. We haven't got the echo, right? Do I have that right? Oh, we're almost, okay. So what if, what if there's still two more URs to get? Single UR items? 100 and, excuse me, 220? Oh, 
Okay, I want to see all items again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see right there. It's missing two. We can see it says underneath all items says 82 of 84. And the two we're missing are your items. All right. 230. Okay, still no echo. I'm not crazy about the echo. Should we go check? just feel like this is already super long. Like, oh, we're making it even longer. I'm just worried that I got an echo and I don't remember it. So that was 230. Let's go to the arc. We're not going to deal with any of that. Do we have an echo? Nope, cancel. No, yeah, there's no echo. Okay, we still need an echo. All right, go back to pulling, obtain the crown. All right, so this is 240. Still no echo. 250. That echo is painful. Oh, there's our echo. So let's go ahead and open that up just for fun. There she is. I'm also going to write down that we have one echo. We need 12 to fully max our call of reflection. So, but if you're going for completion, as in you want the suit and its recolor, I would be done at 250 pulls, um, which was, let's do skip. I had spent $200. I still have 30 pulls left. However, this is not 100% completion. This is for the outfits plus their recolor. Say you're playing for 100% completion. You still have two single drop UR items to get out of there. So when you're going for completion, you can not like, I'm not going to bother the, with the single drop items. All I care about is the outfits and their recolors. There's different ways to play the game as a playing, paying player. And also it's free to play as you try to figure out what you want to spend your diamonds on that you've collected. Um, so I would be done if I was just going for their outfits and their recolors at 250 pools, I'm done with this UR. If I'm going for 100% clothing collection, I need to keep pulling to get those last two URs. So let me write 250, 250 outfits complete. All right, so let's now let's see how much, long, how much more on top of that it would go for 100% pulling it get, getting everything out of the path those last two you are items so here we are at 260 nothing okay 270 uh, nothing this is why it gets so painful. It gets painful, trust me. 280. And nothing. So we still have not gotten another 30 pulls and we st still have two URs that we're missing. Now we're gonna have to go get some, we're gonna have to go get some more tickets. So let's go to, we're gonna start spending our diamonds. Now let's spend, let's look how much diamonds we have. 216,647. We're going to start spending diamonds now. Um, so let's grab these. Um, and I do not see the one on the far left. It's some purple diamonds. I never, ever, 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 ever spend my purple diamonds on anything except for clothing or like we just got the atmospheric pack. I'll, I will, I've got that. Um, I've spent them on uh, concepts before, but the purple diamonds are super, super precious. Don't ever spend them on materials. I don't even spend them on these kind of mats on the, on for pulling in, in, um, paths. I just use them for, like I said, that we just got the, the atmospheric pack that you had to spend 360 purple diamonds on. So I, my purple diamonds are precious and I don't spend them, but we'll do this one. That's pink diamonds. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Okay, we're going to be buying a lot more than that. All right, here we are at 290. 
Well, let's see if this is... Okay, we only have one left of the... Okay, 300. Nothing. Wait, we need to get a purple. It's going to take a while. It might take 10 more pulls to get that other, um, that last you are. All right, let's see where we are in time. Oh my goodness, 23 minutes. Okay, so let's just buy... Wait, sorry. Um, what do you want to do? Another hundred pulls? Let's do another hundred pulls. Okay, here we are at 310. And nothing. Nothing, nothing. See what I mean? It's painful. You're like, why are you doing this? Just stop. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, we got an echo. Our our first echo that's not for awakening. So let's write that down. This echo is just for leveling up our call, call of reflection. Okay, what's this guy? Still not what we need. Oh crap, good thing I knew it was 100. I haven't been writing these down. Okay, skip. So we've got 100, which means this is our 100, 200, 350th pull. Oh, got another echo. Let's write that down. What's this guy? Oh, and there's our last you. Oh my gosh, I'm not fond of that. I'm going to say no to that. I can't believe we pulled for that, right? Okay, let's grab that echo. We'll do skip. All right, so if we go to the top where it says on the right where it says all items right underneath owned 84 of 84 so at 250 we had completed the outfit with an echo for each outfit so we had outfits and recolor at 250 pulls at 350 pulls an additional 100 pulls we finally pulled the pavilion to completion including all single drop items so we're going to put pav complete at 350 now we ready for the crazy Let's pull. So we have we have three echoes. I need to uh, upgrade, fully upgrade as well as to awaken. I need twelve echoes. I have tw I have three. I need um, nine more echoes. This is gonna be fucking insane. Y'all are just gonna be like, why, why, why do people do this? And I, I get you. I hear you. And then you're gonna be. You'll understand. You know, so we'll just do skip. You're gonna understand. You're gonna be. I get it. I get it. I get why she says don't play for arena. This is just insane. And yes, yes it is. And why we'll never play arena again. And the difference in cost, you know, so to go from to go from pulling for the outfits with the recolors to pulling completely the pav was a hundred pulls. Um, see, we haven't even gotten in, gotten the gotten one yet. That was 50 pulls. So we're at 400 pulls now. Okay, there's another echo. We have four echoes. We need eight more. Okay, let's grab another 100 pulls. Oh my god, this hurts my heart, doesn't it? I have a lot of diamonds. And you're like, you have diamonds. I'm like, it still hurts my heart, man. Okay, so let's just do skip. Let's keep going. I'm I'm not keep I'm not writing down because we're doing a hundred. When we're done with this, we'll be at five hundred pulls. So I don't have to keep. I'm just doing them a hundred at a time, so I don't have to um keep track of it. Let go and two hundred fifty and two hundred sixty that sort of thing. All right. I'm hoping to keep this under. Where are we at? Let's see if we can finish this up in another five minutes. Go, 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 my friend. We... <laughs> I know. I, are y'all crying yet? You're like, those diamonds! Those poor diamonds! Why would you do that? You can use them for collecting other outfits. Exactly. Exactly, my friend. Exactly. That is why I'm saying Arena's not worth it. All of those diamonds can be used for the next SSR event. All of these diamonds can be used for the next UR event. 
I'm just, it's just as painful, isn't it? The first time I did this was fox slowing. And I got seduced into the arena game. And, but I didn't, oh my God. Yeah, not a single, oh, there's our next echo. We're at five echoes now. We still need seven more. Okay, skip that. Let's grab another. So we're at, that's 500 pulls we're at. 500 pulls. So we maxed out the PAV at 350 pulls, including getting all the single drop items. We're now another 150 on top of that, trying to get echoes. Let's grab another 100. I know, I can hear y'all going, no, quit doing that. Yeah, I know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it, we're taking it to the end. But like I said, you can see one, why I had to save up so, more, so much diamonds. This is a single UR. Can you imagine if this was like Emperor and Empress and you wanted to be competitive in, uh, in Arena and you needed both Emperor and Empress? You know what I'm saying? That's why I had, you're like, why do you have so many diamonds? That's insane. And, and this is why it is, is arena competition, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I can keep this up because I, like I said, I, you can see what, what it costs to be competitive in arena. All right. We're just going to keep try not to cry too much. <laughs> this whole event's about crying, right? Christine's all crying. Like her tears, her sadness is what makes the people rich, the wealthy remain rich in Delmond. And so the rich perpetually want her to be sad. So they, oh, there's another echo. Let's write that down. We're at six echoes, six to go. Um, so watching these diamonds disappear for echoes, and the tears will cry together. Let's cry together. Maybe they should have just done this. Like, okay, you're gonna play the arena game. You're gonna watch all of your diamonds disappear. That could have been used for SSR events, for the next UR event. That's what we're gonna do, Christine. That's what's gonna make you so cry. Oh, can you just do skip like that? Or it's still, no, it still goes through the animation. Okay. Okay. There we are at 600 pulls. We're at 600 pulls now. Oh, and we've got another echo. We're at seven echoes. Five to go. I did my math right. Seven plus five is 12. Yeah. All right. Let's grab another hundred. Just scream into your pillow. Just get a pillow and scream into it as you watch me do this. Going, good God, woman. Why? Why? This hurts my heart. It's not even my diamonds. I, I don't know watching what she's doing. All right. So we're at eight echoes, four to go. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll quit going a hundred at a time. Oh, that's nice. Another echo. We're at nine echoes, three to go. It'd be nice if we've got three echoes and 80 pulls, but we'll see. Nothing there. Okay, let me check my time. Oh, another echo. Okay, I might have to stop this soon. Um, 10 echoes, two to go. I think we'll get two echoes and 60 pulls. After this, we'll start doing 10 at a time instead of, if I don't get, if I don't get, what do we need, two echoes? If I don't get two echoes and 60 pulls, we'll start doing 10 at a time. And the music's so cheerful. Now we know why. They're like, don't cry. Look at, listen to the cheerful music. There's no reason to cry. As you watch the diamonds disappear for Arena. Okay, just no echoes. 20 more pulls. We still need two echoes. Okay, it's our last pull. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy hundred again though. What do you think? 50? 40? 30? What should we do? Ugh. 
I think maybe 50. I think we're gonna do 50. So that is 700. We're at 700 pulls. Let's do 50 this time. Uh, let me stop this and start it again because it does this weird skipping thing. So I'm going to stop this and start it up again. Okay. Um, the the app I use to do this, I just really like it because it allows me to pause and move around my phone, which I do a lot, especially during like news of the week. And so I really like it. Um, it's recorder X or something like that, but X recorder, that's it, X recorder. But it does cause some problems that don't work really well, but that's okay. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna have this SR, SSR maxed out by this time this is all done. Well, certainly, I guess if you have the UR maxed out, of course you're gonna have the SSR maxed out. Oh, there's, oh my gosh, one echo left. We're at 11 echoes. 20 more pulls. We'll be pulling, we'll do 10 at a time after this, which might get tedious, but I don't, you know, nothing. Okay, last pull that we have right now. Did I start this up? I did. Yeah, okay. All right, so we only need one more echo. I wanna go double check that. Let's just go double check that. Um, we need one for awakening and we need 11 for doing max COR. Let me turn this off. Let's go in here. Oop, no, no, we won't go into the arc. Let's go into the arc. Okay, so over on the right-hand side, call of reflection. We need to start. Oh, I said it had 11, didn't it? So now it should say 10. I should have just left it 11, but that's okay. I just used one, so we have 11. We need 12, so yeah, I didn't miscount. We still need one more echo. And we'll just um, start doing 10 at a time. Obtain the gown. All right, summon 10. Get our last echo. Okay, come on, last echo. Okay, that was seven, I'm sorry, that was 750 that I had just done because I got 50. So that one that I just did was 760. I'm gonna start counting these again. This is 770. Nothing. 780. Nothing. 790. Nothing. Okay, we are at... 800. Nothing. <laughs> I want the last echo. All right. Uh, 810. There it is. Right there. All right, so 810 pulls. All right, so let's go over the whole thing to max echo. Okay, let's go ahead and... So, to get the outfit, the complete outfit, with recolor, with one echo for recolor, was 250 pulls. To pull the PAV to completion with all single drop items was 350 pulls. To max echo your UR reflection to be competitive at the top of arena was a total of 810 pulls. So we went from 350 to 810. And that's what I mean by arena being so expensive compared to just pay, playing for collection. And that's why I, it, when people come into the game, I encourage them, if they have money to spend, 
to play for collection. And then um, like there's life makeovers coming out, hopefully within the next year, I'm hoping anyway, there's rumors. Um, and it looks like a really good dress up game. Whereas here we have a very anime-esque avatar and Nikki looks very anime-esque. Um, if you look at life makeover, the avatars, besides being able to more customizable, you can customize your body, whereas we're just stuck with uh, Nikki's body the way it is. Um, in life makeover, it reminds me of ball joint dolls. Now, I just got my first ball joint doll. I'll do an unpacking of that. I've never seen one in person. I've just seen pictures. So it'd be kind of cool. But the um, in Life Makeover, the avatar looks very, very, very much like ball joint dolls. More than Nikki, who looks very anime-esque. So um, if you spend less money, if you go for collection instead of arena, then you'll have that money left over. Like if you want to play li Life Makeover. You know, there's other dress-up games or, say, Nikki 5 when it comes out. So I never recommend Arena. <laughs> and I will never play Arena again. And I think, you know, I this is why. It's just, it's just too expensive. Um, so let's go, let me show you what you do with all of those Echoes really quickly. Now that we've spent, you know, 810 pulls to get that. If we go to the Arc, and let's go ahead and level her up. Let's do a quick upgrade. Let's take her to 80. All right, let's rank her up to five stars. And grab all this. Now, you saw all of, you want to see how quickly we're going to burn. Oh, let's go ahead and grab all the ones we have. Oh, let's equip our concepts. Not only a hero. Um, self-cognition and self-cognition click on confirm so she's got her things equipped we're gonna have to awaken her uh, what else was I thinking we had to do well let's awaken her really quick there's something else we had to do and I completely forgot let's awaken her oh we got a map oh, that's it the COR and the and the the caller reflection and the passives we'll do that in just a second make sure this is still running I'm sorry, I'm paranoid because I just have one chance to do all these things. Okay, let's, let's get all her recolors. So to do this was only 250 pulls. What I'm doing right now, awakening her and getting her recolor, which is, this is what I'm doing, I'm getting her recolored outfit. Huh, <laughs> I'm sorry, those shoes. I mean, I love them. They're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but they're ridiculous too. But they're awesome, but they're ridiculous. Come on. I, and like I said, if you're going to walk in those, I would just like put all the weight on, like I was walking on my tippy toes. I would just accept like, okay, I'm walking on my tippy. I would not, I would like, oh, that stiletto. Anyways, those are, those are fun shoes. I'm not saying they're not, but they're silly as well. The wings are so pretty. Okay, so this is, I'm sorry. So if you did the 250 pulls with one echo, you need one echo to do this. This is where you'd be getting this. You'd be doing this. Now I'm also awakening her because she's much more powerful. We're also, uh, oh, there's that. Okay. Oh my goodness. I didn't know you had, did you have to awaken her? I don't know. I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay, so here's her awakened version. Plus there. Oh, this is really sad. Of course, the story is sad. So pretty, right? The wings are beautiful. They did an, just an incredible job. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, do I have to press something? Oh, wait, there's the redo, but I'm not going to do that. Let's head on out of here. Okay, so we've awakened her. We've got her little tear, but we'll look at that. I don't, that's new. I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's go back into here. We need to, oh, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and break down those UR for you. I need UR clothing crystals or whatever the heck they're called. Okay, we go bottom right, the dream cube. Left, I am, um, excuse me, the metal decomposer. And we need these guys. So let's select all. 
We got 25. Let's decompose all of those into outfit crystals. I need those to upgrade the passives. So I don't know if I'll take her to five because um, at the rate that they're coming out with, uh, well, I don't know. The rate they're coming out with um, Hells, I don't know if they're going to slam us with a, they're going to slam us with the next one that will be OP past her. Like I said, we're always dealing with power creep. They always want people to be pulling for those echoes because it's so much more money for them. So they constantly are going to be giving us power creep. So the next thing, so she's OP compared to looming or, you know, the ones we have that are existing. And the one that's going to be OP, OP compared to her comes in CNY 2022. You think that's a year and a half away. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The, they're dropping these hells so fast and they're not even dropping in the in the correct se season bunny moon we got in the spring and that is a autumn hell event it is associated with autumn um and so they're not even dropping the hells in the correct season so i don't know i don't know if they're going to wait a year and a half to give us cny 2022 which will have an op will uh, blue reflection over christine here so and because of that i'm like i don't know if we should Take her passives up to five. All right, but let's start with this one. Let's upgrade her Call of Reflection. That's what we spent all those diamonds on, all that money on. So she is fully max echoed. All right, so here's our passives. It's very, the passives are super important as well if you want to be competitive at the top of arena. So let's go ahead and start taking these guys up to at least four. Now, I don't know if I'll go past four. Let's go to four and see how I fare in arena. And if I need to take it up to five. Also, let's see how many outfit crystals we have left. That's why I've been hoarding the outfit crystals. When I, when, you, when I first started this video, you're like, oh my gosh, you've got 60 outfit crystals. Well, yeah, I've been hoarding them because they, you just burn through them whenever you get a new reflection that you have to upgrade. And I knew that something was coming, so I was hoarding them. Okay, let's do our last one here. Okay, if we're just going to go to four. It would take me 30 outfit crystals, which is more than half the outfit crystals I have left to take her to 555. So we're just going to leave her at four and let's go see how that, cha how that uh, changed us, how that we fare in arena. So let's go to diamond arena. Got to, um, let's see when they can update ranking. How much time do I have? Two minutes. All right. So let's dress up. We want to change, of course, Krista. Well, um, blue Christine. Because right now I'm using Looming. We're going to change Looming. Oh, I'm going to do Auto. I'm sorry, because I'm sure there's going to be outfit pieces from that we just got so let's do all of them oh, okay what am i doing i'm all over the place aren't i like what are you doing angel all right let's try this again but use the auto dress here we go auto dress on the bottom right click on confirm it'll auto dress her with the new outfit okay so our girl here's all done we're not going to really do anything here click on confirm Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So there's our new blue outfit, cool outfit. And of course we want Christine. Let's make sure our concepts all look good. They do. Let's click on confirm, click on confirm. So we've got Christine down there instead of looming. And then here's our elegant, click on confirm. Okay, so she's, her passives are only up to four. Let's see how she fares. So my new is 153. Oh my goodness, Pi cannot beat Pi. I can beat Misery, but not Pi. So the question is, do we take these all the way up to five? Do we spin the passives to take this up to five? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we can see Pi's reflections. Let's see what Pi has. No, nope, Pi doesn't have the reflection showing. Okay, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend the passives on that or just hang out at second place. Oh, there we are. I just updated. Uh, I can't think of what else. Did I do everything? I awakened her. I did passes. I did call of reflection. Let's go double check and see if I did everything. Did I forget something? It's been a while since I played with reflections. Upgraded. Ranked up. Mm, passives. Call of Reflection. Equip Concepts. The concepts look good. So... I would have to... So if we go to Arena... Ranking. For me to go past Pi... What do we have? Green, blue, yellow? Some people call that orange. Let's go back and look at green, blue, yellow. Um, my Here I'm using Hestia. My Hestia is also um, 444. And blue and then orange or yellow. Here's Lowen. I'm not bringing Lowen. I might bring it. I could maybe bring that up to four, the dress. Because that's only how many... That's only six outfit crystals. I don't know. That one's pretty weak compared to what's going to be coming up. The other thing I can do is I can spend it on Hestia and bring Hestia up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to think about whether I want to spend the outfit crystals on that or not. Anyways, that is where are we at? This is such a long video once I splice it all together. Um, that's it. That is playing collection versus arena and how much more expensive arena is. So that's why I don't ever recommend it. I mean, if you really, really enjoy it, like I, I realize it's expensive, but for me, the money is worth it. Then of course do it. I can't tell you what is right for you and what's right for your enjoyment in this world and how you want to spend your money. But do understand that collection is a fraction of the cost of arena. And so um, you can just go for a collection and still really enjoy the game. And that's my intention in the future as well, is to not <laughs> play arena. Um, I will not be playing arena in Nikki 5. I will not be playing arena in Life Makeover if they have arena. This is the first and the last time I will play arena in a game. It's too expensive um, for, uh, for what I feel you get in return. So, okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. I will be doing the ball joint doll unboxing. I haven't unboxed it yet. I was waiting to make a video with it. And that's because uh, I think, especially with light, we're talking about life maker, make, make over a lot. And um, the life makeover avatars have a really strong ball joint doll feel to them too to me anyway whereas like i said uh nikki has much more of an anime feel and if they with nikki five if they follow in line with what they're doing with their love and producer series i think that the nikki and that one will have more of a realistic human feel but we'll see we'll see um all right well thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope you enjoyed this pool video. I've never done one before. So, all right, well, thank you. And I will talk to everybody later and have a great week. All right, bye-bye.